All right, this video has two problems in it. At least I'm gonna to try to do problems. From our optimization lab, number one, it's three and four, they're both very similar. They're about making an open box made out of a flat square piece of material. So they're both the same, just different dimensions. So I really tried on this to kind of illustrate what it is. So let's talk about a square piece of material that's 12 inches on a side. So it's 12 by 12. So I know this side's 12, this side's 12, get it, it's square. So what we're gonna do is cutting out the squares in the corner. So we're actually gonna take these corners here and we're gonna cut them out right here. So they're gonna be gone. And then we're gonna fold up the sides so that we make this open box, okay? So to, to get it so you can see this, this is the base of my new box because this is folded up, this is folded up, this is folded up, and it's open, okay? So right here is the blue part of the base, all right? So that is the base of our box, is what you see here in blue, okay, is gonna be right here. So this is the base of the box right here, okay? Now, what we're gonna do first is try to set this up, but I do want you to notice that I didn't put any dimensions here. You're like, why didn't you do 12 by 12? Because once I cut this out and cut these two corners out, if the whole side's 12 and I cut off a piece X and a piece X, the base is really right here, 12 minus two X's. And it's the same with this spot. So basically, if you look at this box, this base is 12 minus two X on this side and 12 minus 2x because I cut out. And then when I fold it up like this high, it's going to be x high. So I'm trying to show you how it would look like. So here's our box right here. So now what we're gonna do is actually, they want us to find the volume of the largest box. Well, all the other problems I've done with you, this one's a little bit different. We've already put our constraint right in here. So we can go right, to the volume of this, and I know the volume of a rectangular shape is the area of the base times the height or the length times width times height, either way. So the volume is going to be, of our new box, is gonna be x times 12 minus 2x times 12 minus 2x, because it's a square, by, square base. All right, then I went through and multiplied these all, and usually when, and because in order for us to do this, um, we'd have to take the derivative, we gotta find V prime, and here you'd have to do the product rule, and then you'd have to do the product rule within the product rule, so I'm just gonna multiply this all out so we can do the power rule. So the volume is going to be X, and then I'm gonna multiply this out, so it's gonna be um, 144 minus, that's 144 minus 24 minus 48 X's, and then negative two X times is plus four X squared. Then I'm multiplying them all through by X. So I'm just gonna try arrange their order. I have four X cubed minus 48 X squared plus 144 X. That is the volume of our box. Now if we're looking for the volume of the largest box, then that is our maximum. So we're gonna take our V prime and put it equal to zero or our F prime is zero. So right here, I'm gonna do a line here because now we're gonna do V prime, okay? The derivative is easy enough because v prime, it's all power rule. So I have 12 X squared minus 96 X plus 144. We're gonna put that equal to zero so we can find the X or the piece that we're gonna cut out that makes this the largest volume. So I looked at this here and I can see that I can factor out a 12 out of everything, so I did. And when I did, I get x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals zero. And then I have 12 and then I factored this some more. So I have x squared, so it's x times x. And then I'm looking for the two factors. This is positive, so they both have to be the same sign. They're both negative. And I'm gonna have six and two. And then I'm just gonna draw this and put each piece equal to zero. 12 will never equal zero, so thanks for your help. X minus six equals zero, X equals six. X minus two equals zero, X equals two. Now this is where I've warned you ahead of time that we're always gonna have to do our, our first derivative test to see which one it is. Now in this case, if you think about it, if one whole side of this box right here is 12, if the piece I cut out is six, 
it's going to be like a folder. There won't even be a box. So this seems extremely unlikely to me. Looks like we're going to cut out, and this is um, in inches. It looks like we're going to cut out a two-inch piece in the corners to get that. But we're going to check this with our first derivative test, our V prime bar. So here's our V prime bar. And I'm going to put two here. Well, it's not very pretty, is it? Hang on a second. Let's do our V prime bar here again. And we're going to put our two and six on here. Because I want to see, we want max volume, okay? So remember what we're going to do here. I actually am going to circle this because this is kind of how what I'm going to use to come up with my plus and minuses. You can actually put this in your calculator. It doesn't matter. So if I go to the left of 2, okay, let's we'll say 1. This would be negative. And this would be negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. So it's going to be positive here. If I go between 2 and 6, let's pick 4. This is negative, this is positive, so it's going to be negative here. If I go greater than 6, let's say 7, this is positive, this is positive, so this is positive again. Okay, so let's test this. Positive and negative is this is our max, negative, and then positive, this is a minimum, which we kind of thought. So x equals 2 is going to be what's going to um, give us our maximum volume. So 2 centimeters, no inches is what we're two inches is what it's going to be that we're going to cut out the corners to give us our max, okay? But um, they said find the volume. You know, what is the volume going to be? So I know the volume is going to be the area of the base, which we said was 12 minus 2x and 12 minus 2x. So 12 minus 2 times 2 or 12 minus 4 is going to be, well, we can put it here, 12 minus 2 times 2 times 12 minus 2 times 2, or 12 minus, so basically this is 12 minus 4, or 8 times 8, if you will, okay? And then um, we're going to multiply it by 2, because it's too high, so we have volume is going to be 8 squared times 2, you can put this all in your calculator, or 128 cubic inches is the volume. Okay, now I'm going to do this again, but with different numbers. So I kind of started drawing the picture a little bit to save some time. I drew an open box with a rectangular base. So here's my open box with a rectangular base. It is to be constructed from a rectangular piece of cardboard 16 inches wide and 21 inches long. So here we go. I drew it. We're going to cut out a square from each corner and bending it up so that we can find this box. So I'm going to do this. So I'm, I'm going to bend it up on these these little dotted lines here, and you know we're cutting out this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. All right, so if I have this whole side is 21 and I'm cutting out a piece that is X, okay, so there, this is X by X, you're going to have this side, there's one here too, there are one here, I've got 21 minus 2X's, and that's going to be the base of the length. So this is 21 minus 2X. This the width of it is going to be, you guessed it, if this is x by x, x by x is going to be 16 minus 2x because that's what the new base is, <coughs> excuse me, after we cut out those x's. And it's going to be x high. So now we've put all our constraints in. <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's go right to volume is the area of the base times the height. So I'm going to say x is my height times 21 minus 2x times 16 minus 2x. All right, now let's go through and multiply that out. So when I do, they got volume is x. 21 times 16 is 336 minus um, 30, 42x minus 32x plus 4x squared. This comes out to be, I do all this just so I can do the power rule when I do the derivative. The volume is going to be, these two I can put together and then multiply through by x. I end up getting 4x cubed, okay, minus 74x squared plus 336x. And there's our volume, okay? Now I'm going to draw the line so that you guys see the difference. Don't forget, if I'm looking for the, the x to cut out to make max volume, I have to do v prime and put that equal to zero. We just did this. So this is 12x squared 
minus 148x. You do all that algebra ahead of time. The derivative is pretty easy. 336, put it equal to 0. I factor out a 4, and I get 3x squared minus 37x plus 84, and it equals 0. And I'm going to do some more factoring. So I've got 4, and I'm going to factor this out. So I have 3x times x, and I'm looking for factors of um, 84 that are going to give me a 37. So I'm going to do minus 28 and minus 3. Now, you actually can right here do the quadratic formula if you don't want to factor. Um, I just like to see if I can factor this and see how fast I can do. So I got 4 doesn't equal 0, 3x minus 28 equals 0. So I'm going to have x is going to come out to be 9 and 1 third. And this was in inches, okay? And then I have x minus 3 equals 0, x equals 3 inches. Now, when, as I'm writing this, I'm thinking 9 inches for the, out of the corner. And if that one whole side was 16, it wouldn't be very much. This looks extremely unlikely. I'm thinking it's going to be x is going to be 3 inches. I'm not for sure, and we're going to not look at that. So in order for me to check that, I have to do my first derivative test. So we're going to do our v prime bar. And I'm going to have on here 3 inches and 9 and a third inches. Okay? And then I'm going to go through right here. Well, I'll use yellow so you, don't, you can see it. And plug in to the left and to the middle and to the right. So if I go to the left of 3, let's pick 2. This would be negative. This would be negative. Negative times a negative is a positive. So this would be positive right here. And then if I go between 3 and 9 and a third, let's pick 6. This would be positive. This would be negative. So it would be negative in between. And if it's greater than 9 and a third, if we pick 10, this would be positive. This would actually be uh, positive. So I have positive times positive. So right here, this 3 is a max for the volume. This is a minimum. So we're not going to pick the 9 and 2 thirds. So it looks like I'm going to cut out, because um, it says find the size of the corner square, what you're going to produce. And right here it is. This is my answer. My answer is I'm going to cut out 3 inches in the corner is what I'm going to do to get that to be the max volume. So I hope that helped you with these two problems.